And he's not judging a Chatter Charles and Fox Trots in the Strictly Ballroom. Craig Revel Horwood is busy showing off his own moves. Uh, he's putting on uh, his high heels to make sure the orphans have a hard knock life as the formidable Miss Hannigan in the new touring stage production of Annie. Well, today he's taken a break from the New York City orphanage to join us in the studio, <laughs> and it is so lovely to see you. It's lovely to be here, and I'm glad we're matching baby. I know, but I'm this is like it. we planned I it. Got my little blue socks. You were very cute. Well. <laughs> this is to give my feet a rest. A bit of a sandals. rest. Yeah, because the heels have been killing me. Well, you are working very hard, but this is a role you love. Is this the third time you've yes, taken I, a run? Yes, well, we created the actual version of the show in 2015, so yeah. I went out on tour with that. 17, I did it for a bit, and then in 19, I did it for a bit as well, 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is actually my sort oh. of fourth oh round. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but it's great. Yeah. I love her. I love the fact that she's drunk or hungover in every single scene. Yeah. I love the fact that she's wants love and she's completely misunderstood. Yes, she's a villain, mm. but I love her for that. Well, she is mm. such an incredible character. I mean, it was, what is it, at Broadway, 1977, when Yeah, that's first right. Started. And then Carol Burnett did the movie, of course, yeah. which mm. was iconic. So you good. Know, uh, but fantastic. I love it. So how does your sister feel when you say that oh, yeah. your version <laughs> of her is loosely based or very yes, much very based? very much based on my, yeah, sister, <laughs> my sister Melanie. Hungover. Yeah, because she's mostly <laughs> drunk and hungover. <laughs> no, but she's very funny when she's drunk, my sister. So okay. I thought I'm going to try and make her a bit like that. And uh, she's my only close reference to that. Right. So, yeah, so it's, <laughs> okay. it's a good one. And, and <laughs> she's how, not going to be impressed. And, <laughs> how many Stop. times have you said that out loud? I mean, assuming she uh, knows Well, this is the first it. time I've actually said it on television. Oh, you're joking. So this is a world oh, exclusive. Gosh. I'll probably get sued by her now. Oh, oh my God. God. Do we need to say hello Morning, Mel. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's in Australia, darling. Is she? Oh, oh she won't fine. know then. And it's night time now. Don't tell Mel. <laughs> don't tell don't Mel. Don't tell Mel. That will become a thing. That will become a thing. The transformation is remarkable. You've always been very good at doing your own makeup yeah, anyway. And you put out a time lapse um, to show people what goes into yeah. bringing Hannah going alive. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, I, for a 7.30 show, I need to be in the theatre at five o'clock. It takes me two and a half hours to actually get oh to the God. stage. Oh, my God. Look at that corset. I know, Look at your corset, body, though. Well, you look great. I mean, thank, thank goodness for the corset, darling. I'm nearly 60. Can you believe that? I was oh, thinking, why amazing. am I doing this? And I keep reminding myself, you love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And I do. You know, yeah. when I'm on stage, it's... Uh, I don't know, becoming a different person, it's just mm. fantastic. And plus, it's the only place in life you can feel really safe. I know that sounds weird, but as soon as you walk out the door, life is improvised. You never know what's going to be thrown your way. Mm. But as soon as you walk into the stage door, you know what's going to happen emotionally within That's the so place. True. So mm. it's great. Well, sometimes you don't know what's going to happen. That's um, so true. And you're sharing the role with wonderful Paul O'Grady. Yeah. And then suddenly, in a blink, Boom. Yeah, it was after Edinburgh. Uh, he said his goodbyes, saying how much he was enjoying doing it. He'd done a two week or two weeks of the run, and of course we were to share the role out, and um, and then suddenly, you know, we had the news that he'd passed, and uh, no one could really believe it no, because he no. he said at Edinburgh, I'll see you all in Southampton, and then um, and then when I turned up for my week, we then of course dedicated all the performances that week to Paul. Uh, it was a shock for the company, a shock for all of us, and we didn't sort of know what was going to happen. No, I bet. But we had to get on with the show, and as they say, the show must go on. Yeah. And um, we, got, we got on with it, but it was a really emotional Monday, my I'm goodness. Sure. I I bet it, was. it was just really hard to breathe, it was really hard to get through, because um, we were just all in that state of panic and shock. He uh, was, um, I mean, just an incredible performer in many, many ways, but on the stage, yeah. sort of just would really come alive. Well, he always said my Hannigan was glamorous and his was very downtrodden. <laughs> 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 you know, he was brilliant, absolutely brilliant, so funny, mm -hmm. you know, and he used to mix the performances up a bit, you know, we get his foot stuck in a bucket one night. And, yeah, You know, he changed it up. He was a brilliant comedian. Oh, wonderful, fantastic, and wonderful man. Much loved and missed. Yeah. Um, for you, I mean, this is, you were saying you've got, um, got your uh, sandals on because you're giving your feet a bit of a rest. Yeah. I mean, it's the stiletto. It's a full-on dancing role. Yeah, it is. It's a full-on singing, full-on dancing, full-on acting. I, and, but I love that. And I have been dancing in heels for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Since I, uh, I know I learned to dance in heels, actually, 
for a show called Le Cage Folk. And uh, that was the first time I'd really sort of stepped into drag and learned how to do the makeup and everything. Mm. And, that, and I remember the balls of all the dancers' feet were killing them. Mm. I mean, women are used to that, and you grow up with wearing the heels in that yeah. way. Yeah. Um, but the boys' bodies were Just not like used to it. I mean, Does it get painful at times, dancing like that all the time? You don't notice the pain until you come off stage. Right. There's something in your mind that switches it, and you really don't notice the pain until you get off. And then it's like taking a pair of clip-on earrings off. Oh, yeah, yeah, Your yeah. ears throb and you just can't believe how much pain you're in you know, <laughs> yeah. at the end of the night. But um, I don't know whether you'd know that. <laughs> Funnily <laughs> enough, I can't think of any roles I've had to play where, well, uh, where I had to do the clip-on. Because yeah. <laughs> no. um, it's the same for me when I take my Hannigan earrings off. I know like, exactly ah! what you mean. Yeah, it's killer. You, um, I mean, the thing is that I didn't realise that, uh, that... I mean, you've got your... You've talked about it lots, your titanium Yeah, titanium hips. hips. But that can be a product of being a dancer. Yes, of course it can. I think, you know, it's overuse of the joints. You know, it's like footballers as well. Tennis players have to have knees replaced a lot. Mm. And a lot of tennis players have to have hip replacements mm. because of just the way you're using your body, constantly changing, you know. So, and it's grinding the bone down, basically, isn't yeah. it? So um, I'm glad for the operation because I'm still in service. You don't feel service. anything... You know, yeah. I, no, I don't feel any pain. I have lost my split, but at 60, I don't really need to be doing a split anymore. <laughs> so think, but that was my party trick. <laughs> if I can imagine. Damn it. You'll be going back to Strictly for a break. You'll need to sit oh, yeah, down after a little bit. I can't wait to sit down and hold paddles from one to four, darling. Yeah. It's going to be gorgeous. It is going to be gorgeous. Um, there will be a touch of sadness in the air, obviously, this series, because, you know, mm. just after so soon of losing Paul, then obviously we found out about was... Len Goodman as well passing it was away. A... Double whammy. It yeah. really, really hit me, of course, because I'm performing in Dartford at the moment. Oh. And that's where Len and his lovely wife Sue yeah. taught me ballroom and Latin. Mm. Because when I joined Strictly, I was a classical dancer and tap, jazz, modern, all the other ones, you know, Argentine tango and stuff, but not ballroom and Latin. And mm. that's the show I was judging. So he said, You need to get down my school, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, he took me to his school just in Dartford, Goodman's Dance Centre. And um, I learned to dance there with him. So I have fantastic memories. Well, you used to him. share um, uh, car journeys with oh, him. Oh, my goodness, the car journeys. <laughs> he never stopped complaining. <laughs> it was all complain, complain. Len Grumpy Goodman, I think, you know, that's what he was called on his Twitter. What was he complaining about? We were quite the opposite. I was like that on television, <laughs> and he was the nice, smiley one. But then the roles reversed oh, completely when we do the tour. But he was brilliant. He used to pay with fibers, you know, if it was like a 300 pound bill for dinner or whatever, he'd pay in fibers all the time. So then he got the fibers from the school. <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, he was brilliant fun. I mean, I will miss him. But the thing is, like Brucey, he will live yes. inside me, yeah. and every time I hear the word seven, you know, oh, I, forever, every, you that, yeah, yeah. that will always ring in my head and mm. in my heart, you know, and, um, and my love, of course, goes out to his wonderful wife, Sue, and yeah. his family, who were absolutely wonderful, because I, I knew nothing, of, I didn't even know he was ill, mm. no. you know, so it was a huge shock for me, and I know he wanted to keep it quiet as well, he didn't want to yeah, do any big exactly. fanfares yeah. and things, yeah. but a brilliant brilliant man yeah, who lovely man. Um, brought ballroom back to the world, which was fantastic. Hmm. And you'll never get bored with Strictly, will you? I love it. It's a cast change every year. So I never know who I'm going to come across. You don't know who's going to be a great dancer, yeah. who's going to be terrible. I mean, I just love it every year. And for me, it's um, a Saturday job. You know that I look forward Considering to. Considering you didn't think it was like going to work, you didn't think it was going to work in the first place. Oh no! Well, Len and I said together. I mean, back in the day, in in the third week, we said, "Oh, this is dreadful." I mean, who's going to watch this? <laughs> no one. Wow. And then after the second week, yeah. then the third week, then the fourth week, it just the Exploded. viewing figures went mad. We yeah. couldn't believe it. Sixty countries worldwide. Has gone to now. That's nuts. Well, it's Neverly, nuts. we love you on it. Um, Annie, in the meantime, is where yeah. you are currently. Tickets are available now and it's going all over the place. So go and have a look online and find yeah, it. Absolutely. So, nice thank to see you. you. Really it's lovely, lovely to see, to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you.